The push to legalize marijuana here in Indiana is revving up once more one day before lawmakers return to the state house. Today, Indiana Democrats say they plan to campaign on this issue as more Hoosiers are supporting some form of legalization, up to 81%, according to a new poll by Ball State from 2018. But it's not just the Dems who are on board with this issue. 13 Investigates reporter Sierra Putman sat down with a Republican lawmaker hoping that one of his two bills will pass. 38 states have a medical program, 18 states have an adult use. Um, we're one of 12 states that have neither. And if we wait around for the federal government to do, you know, to dictate policy, shame on us. Shame on us. We sat down with Representative Jim Lucas Friday to discuss two bills he's working on to legalize marijuana or cannabis. He didn't show us the draft, saying he's still working with other lawmakers, but tells me they're similar to past bills he's filed. One would allow for recreational adult use. The second would legalize medical marijuana. He says an encounter with a Vietnam vet highlighted the need for change. Broke down and started crying right there in front of me. He said, I'm tired of feeling like a criminal. Indiana Democrats are also drafting legislation. This issue touches every type of Hoosier. Um, you know, it is going to help us with our economy and job creation. In 2021, there were 10 bills drafted to expand marijuana use here in Indiana. Another 10 in 2020. None of them made it out of committee, which meant none of them got a vote either here on the House floor or over in the Senate. The biggest obstacle is Republican Party leadership. Governor Eric Holcomb is against legalizing marijuana. We know where you stand, Governor. Step off the side, let the process work. Lucas hopes for at least a committee hearing, arguing legalized marijuana will help Hoosiers dry up the black market and bring in potentially billions of dollars in new revenue, money currently going to neighboring states like Michigan. In 2020, 13 investigates showed it happening as Hoosiers crossed the border to buy pot and bring it home. So to think that we're controlling it right now is, is being disingenuous.